Hey there travelers, welcome back to another Adam Ventures video. Today, I wanna to talk about something a little controversial. A lot of people are gonna have a lot of opinions on this, think that uh, my perspective is wrong. And seriously, they might have a point because I've only lived in Bali for two months, right? So what do I know? But I do have an opinion on what is the hardest thing about living here in Bali, Indonesia. And no, it's not the motorbikes. Just the other day, I was looking for good places to fly my drone and I discovered this place, these uh, beautiful rice fields, like right in the Penistana neighborhood. I'm right across um, from this co-working space right here. If you wanna know where this is, this just beautiful, beautiful space here in Ubud, Bali in the Penistana area. But I had something just happen to me uh, yesterday, which I think is gonna paint a, a really good example of what is the most difficult thing of living in Bali. The other day I was driving home at night, it was late, and I didn't realize it until I got home, but my phone had actually fallen out of my pocket while I was driving. I recruited my girlfriend's help, we used her phone as a hotspot, and we drove all around using my computer to track down my phone until we tracked it down to right back here, little grab driver hangout spot, and my phone was actually in one of the driver's pockets. Not gonna lie, I kinda thought I was gonna have a hard time getting my phone back from him because I had been dialing my phone from my girlfriend's phone this entire time, did not pick up once and it had been in his pocket the whole time. And the reason he wasn't picking up the phone was actually just because the screen was broken. Like you just can't even use the screen at all. So today I'm gonna try to get my screen fixed and uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty good example of what one of the hardest things to do in Bali is. So anyway, let's head to the phone repair shop and let's just uh, see how that goes. Kind of curious. No FE, uh, just a uh, normal Samsung Galaxy S21. That's it, it was about to It's not looking good. First quote was uh, 5 million IDR, which is like $350 to fix the screen. And it's only like a $600 phone, so that's kind of annoying. Ubud's not a small city, it actually has a population of over 70,000, but there's not really any specialty stores unless you're looking for designer clothing. There's no Apple store, Samsung store, and there's only like two electronic stores which are good for going to if you really need like a computer mouse or a keyboard or something, but you only, you know, you're desperate, you only need one option. You're not gonna find like any sort of specialty item in Ubud. Now they got the sun outfit on, time to go to Denpasar. So bad news, I just went to the Samsung um, repair center here and he's saying that my phone is still working but the screen is the only thing that's broken but unfortunately the screen that goes on the Samsung Galaxy S1 here in Indonesia is different from the screen in the United States. So that's a real bummer, they won't even try and there's no way for them to like plug another screen into it for me to try to like unlock my phone just so I can get my videos and stuff off of it because I have a whole vlog on there that um, I'm not gonna be able to um, to see now and make for you guys. You're not gonna be able to see, unfortunately. All right, I need a little time to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Um, and I need some food, so we're gonna see if this place is open. Arang Sate Madura. Hello. Are you serving food still? You have food? Food, yes. Ah, yes, perfect. Sate. Ah, I will do the uh, the satay. Camping? Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, that is perfect. All right, so I just ordered some satay. Yeah, I'm from this uh, fine establishment right here, really close to the Samsung Experience store. Are and you the, YouTuber, sir? I am YouTuber, yeah. Yeah, YouTuber. The dilemma I'm in right now is if I get a phone here in Indonesia, like a nice phone, like if I buy a Samsung Galaxy S21 or the S22 is coming out in a few days, if I get that here, I would not be able to have it fixed in it, the United States. So that would be a real bummer. And I actually think the frequency bands, they use different frequency bands, so it, it wouldn't necessarily work in the United States. And the only reason I know that is because I bought this phone five years ago in Thailand and it's still working here. It's working in Indonesia, it worked you know, in Thailand, but it does not work in the United States. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is just continue to use this phone, this Vivo phone that I bought five years ago while I'm here in Indonesia and upgrade my camera instead. 
because I don't need a new phone. I only really needed a nice phone for the nice camera, but if I get a nice camera, then I don't need a nice phone. And I just don't think that vlogging with just a GoPro is gonna be good enough for my channel. I kinda want my channel to have higher quality content than that. Thank you very much, thank you. Ooh, my saute I am has arrived. Check this out, oh my gosh, that's huge. Oh man, so good. Absolutely delicious. I'll put a pin on the map to where I'm at right now. Mmm. Mmm. Look at kidney candy store. <laughs> we have charger and battery also. Um, I will just do the battery. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> Is this recording? First test of the camera right before I purchase it. So the test before I purchase it. Yeah, this is looking good. This is the uh, this is the new setup. Looks like I got a, I can hit this button. Yeah, this looks way better than my phone. I'm getting this one. <laughs> hey travelers, so uh, I hope that example wasn't too confusing. I realize it wasn't the best example. I could have made for this point I was trying to get across. But basically the point I'm trying to get across in this video is that the hardest thing to do so far in Bali, the hardest part about being here, has been trying to find very, very specific items. You see, I don't know, from, from the US, I'm used to just hopping on Amazon and searching for what I'm looking for and then having a huge spectrum, a huge amount of options. You know, like if I'm buying shorts, I've only now, I only buy shorts with zippered pockets. Um, you know, if I'm buying a t-shirt that's not a, you know, a singlet like this, I want it to be made out of merino wool. Um, I have very, very specific preferences, I guess you could say. Also with all my camera gear, like ever since I've been here, I've been stopping at every electronic store I can find because I want ND filters that I can put on my GoPro to have really like buttery, smooth, like cinematic FPV drone shots. But the problem is I can't find ND filters here anywhere, even in some of the biggest stores in Den Pasar, the biggest camera stores and electronic stores in Den Pasar, they don't have ND filters. I've been to like six of them now. <laughs> there is some online shopping here in Bali that you can do. There's two websites specifically. One is called Shopee. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And then another is Tokopedia. And I have been able to find ND filters on these websites, but these websites don't accept American credit cards. They only accept Indonesian credit cards or credit cards from Southeast Asia. So I'm not exactly sure how to purchase the ND filters from these websites. And then I think I need to wait at my house or whatever and like someone's gonna deliver it to me in person because they also don't like leave packages at the door here. So I don't know, just minor, minor gripes, minor, minor difficulties about being here in Indonesia, that's kind of it though. I mean, it's definitely not too much to complain about. It's just like, I, I wanted to let you guys know because you know, if you have very specific items like that, that um, you wanna have on your trip, I, I seriously recommend just buying them before your trip and bringing them with you. I should have known that um, ND filters would be hard to find here and I should have just gotten a lot of extra propellers for my FPV drone because these things are pretty hard to find here. You know, it's like a very, very specific piece and like not a single store in Bali, a physical store is probably gonna sell it. And then the online shopping is just so hard. Like we really have it so good in the States with Amazon. It's, it's unreal, you know, how much selection you have for literally anything you could ever want. But uh, yeah, guys, that is the hardest part about being in Bali so far. I know it's just a tiny little, tiny little gripe, but I thought I'd let you guys know. And uh, you guys can plan your trip accordingly. Make sure you bring everything you need when you come to Bali. Unlike myself, I should have known better, but I didn't. So anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.